Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more Move University video tutorials, then please visit the Support Move section on MoveUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. There's often this question of what is good cholesterol and what is bad cholesterol. Um, and that question is actually answered here in the title. Good cholesterol, HDL is considered that, and LDL is considered bad cholesterol. Uh, but another common question that I think is a little bit more important is why is HDL considered good cholesterol while LDL is considered bad cholesterol? It's an important question to investigate. The first and maybe obvious thing to point out is that neither is actually cholesterol. Right? Um, they are lipoproteins. Cholesterol is just a molecule shown here. Right, there's no good version, there's no bad version, it's just a molecule, it's a steroid molecule here, shown here. The second thing is that neither is good or bad for you. Both are important to normal physiology. The simple idea though, when we think about these things, is that too much cholesterol in cells can damage those cells. Okay, so basically if the amount of cholesterol that we have exceeds the need for for our cholesterol, that's when we're into some trouble. Okay, so one thing that we should be considering here is to think about the key functions of each. LDL takes cholesterol to cells and tissues. HDL takes cholesterol from cells and tissues. Okay, so what's the normal situation? The normal scenario. The normal scenario is there's the right amount of LDL taking cholesterol to cells and then any slight excess is taken from those cells by HDL back to the liver. And that's it. The end game is that you have the right amount of, of cholesterol in your cells and you have the right amount of cholesterol in your blood. The bad scenario, what's that look like? Scroll down a bit. So in the bad scenario we have too much LDL relative to HDL taking cholesterol uh, to cells. And these cells have a bunch of cholesterol, right? And they don't need more. So what ends up happening is that these cells don't want to take up any more uh, cholesterol from these LDL particles. So a bunch of LDL cholesterol is left in the blood, right? So the low relative levels of HDL cannot take enough cholesterol from these cells back to the liver. So what ends up happening is that we have too much LDL in the blood, so we have more oxidized LDL being taken up by macrophages, which increases the amount of foam cells deposited in the walls of the arteries, which increases plaque buildup, and that causes an obstruction of blood flow. The tissues can't give blood, and then the tissues can die, which is obviously very bad especially if we're talking about uh, vascular tissues, especially in our uh, the ones that supply your heart and brain. So really, it's not about having LDL is bad or having HDL is good. It's about a ratio and a, and a proper balance between the two. So um, how is it that high LDL to HDL ratios are prevented? Um, it, it's typically just di proper diet and exercise. And from what I from what I've read and heard is that a good diet sort of helps to keep uh, LDL levels lower, whereas exercise helps promote HDL synthesis. So a proper diet and exercise combined together will give you a better, healthier ratio. So a lower uh, an, an LDL to HDL ratio lower uh, or equal to 3.5 is considered good because you have the right amount of cholesterol in your blood and cells, whereas it being higher than 3.5 is bad. You have too much cholesterol in your blood and cells, which, of course, is damaging. So I hope that kind of clears up that, that question of what's good and what's bad and why. Um, but at the end of the day, none of this is medical advice. If you have any questions or concerns about your health, definitely consult your physician. I'm not a healthcare professional, and none of this is medical advice. Hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks and happy studying.